So we're talking about this Malthusian New World Order plan based upon the religion of eugenics that would begin with the organs of the Brenton Woods system, um, the United Nations, the World Bank, IMF, and UNESCO. And one of the Fabian eugenicists that was uh, interrelated to these families and another mouthpiece of them, Bertrand Russell, is going to get more particular about the sort of this world cave then, the images that the oligarchs are going to be projecting upon them using their Malthusian social Darwinist eugenics religion. And I want to just read through a couple of quotes from The Impact of Science, 1952. So the United Nations is up and running, UNESCO is up and running, and he's sort of boldly stating here um, this world order that he has in mind. So from page one, uh, some from page 41 of The Impact of Science on Society. The populace will not be allowed to know how its convictions were generated. Sounds much like Bernays and Lippmann, um, these, the shadow government that's pulling the strings and creating your preferences. And, you know, we're teaching you to love your servitude and we're, we're, we're the masters and you're the herd. Okay, but... I'll try to read in a little less commentary here. When the technique has been perfected, so it's nearly perfected in 1952, not quite, we're working toward it. <clears throat> Every government that has been in charge of education for a generation will be able to control its subjects securely without the need of armies or policemen. Um, because um as H.G. Uh, Wells said in his open conspiracy, they're going to get enough, we're going to give them enough freedom so they actually believe, continue to believe in democracy. They continue to think they have some kind of autonomy over their life and that, uh, you know, those are the TV shows they like and that processed food uh, uh, they actually enjoy and so forth because they decided they did. Um, without the need of policemen because they're going to be socialized by us from cradle to grave. They're going to be inside the cave. So um, we control them from the inside out. The completeness of the resulting control over opinion depends in various ways upon scientific technique. He's going to say here on page 57, where all, where, where all children go to school and all schools are controlled by the government. The authorities can close the minds of the young to every contrary uh, opinion to the official orthodoxy. And try having a kid in school say, you know, um, my father um, thinks that uh, 9-11, um, the facts don't square with the official narrative. What's the teacher going to say? Well, she's told what to say. That's disrespectful to the dead and that it's not possible. You can't address it with facts. And this is what he's saying. You're, it's going to be from K to 12, undergrad, graduate, reinforce the official narrative. Um, you might find a journal that might entertain some of these, um, but it won't be a journal of note. Official orthodoxy. Um, does this sound like democracy? Does this sound like government of free people? Printing is impossible without paper, and all paper belongs to the state. Broadcasting and the cinema are equally public monopolies. It's just, it all jibes. All, all the oligarchs here, from Bernays to Lippmann, back to Tuckfell, are telling you the same thing. Democracy is an instrument of totalitarian control, it's a soft tyranny but it's a totalizing tyranny. This is somewhat famous, what he's about to say here. Page 62 of the impact of science on society. And we're always told science is there to cure cancer and to make us live longer. Um, and again, part of the hermetic Kabbalah is all this has to be put out there. So you don't have to dig very hard. You just have to ask the questions. It's been put out there. This is part of their religion that they tell you what they're up to. Diet 
injections and injunctions will combine from a very early age to produce the sort of character and the sort of beliefs that the authorities consider desirable. And any serious criticism of the powers that be will become psychologically impossible. Even if all, even if all are miserable, all will believe themselves happy because the government will tell them that they are so. Full spectrum dominance, education, media, what's in your food. The whole works are combined to make you a slave of the state. But bear in mind, if you have to go back there, which H.G. Wells said, who is the state? The state is the master race. The state is the master race. And the master race are not the guardians. It's the power behind the guardians. It's this messianic class. You're working for them. One of their instruments we'll call the state, which in oligarchical speak is the master class. The adepts at the Kabbalah, the people that control the money supply. Gradually, by selective breeding, so we've got a little bit of eugenics left in there, especially within the adepts and their own alchemy, eugenics, alchemy. It's their process, right? Until the science takes it to the next level. The differences between rulers and ruled, we already talked about this. This is part of their plan for ascension from Plato's day on, that there's going to be such a difference the difference between rulers and ruled will increase until they become almost different species. We're picking up directly on what H.G. What, uh, well was talking about <coughs> when he talked about in his tome on science, if we want to go back there, until they become almost a different species. And now, you know, we can, we'll get into transhumanism. A revolt of the plebs, common people would become as unthinkable as an organized insurrection of sheep against the practice of eating muttons. Oh, what else do you need to say about this? It's full spectrum from cradle to grave and they don't even see the chains that bind them.